Welcome back to today's tutorial. We are going to be playing around with just a few new products that I have. Um, some of the products were from the collective haul that I did. I've got a little bit of Too Faced in here. Um, some of these NARS power pigments I've had for a while that I kind of wanted to do an eye look with. I just thought we'd play around with some makeup today and create a look because I do need to film for my BoxyCharm and my April for my premium boxes. So we're going to go ahead and get diving right into it and keep this intro pretty short. The primer I'm going to be using today is the Too Faced Prime and Poreless Pore Banishing and Blurring Face Primer. And then that's the consistency of it. Prime my skin, really focusing this on the cheek area, which is where I have most of my texture. Dry down really good. I feel like my pores are still a little enlarged right there. So let's try taking just a little bit more and seeing what happens. Just really focusing that right here. I feel like my pores are very much accentuated above my lip. Maybe it's my mustache. I don't know. So we are going to be playing around with a foundation and the sponges. I really want to test out these sponges. I got this in that 21 Days of Beauty sale. These were the Beauty Bakery blending eggs. This is what they look like. It is got the pinks and the greens. We're going to go ahead and let's pull out the pink one. Today we're going to be using this here, which is by you. Uh, Yoma Uma is really light, so I am going to mix it today. Um, I'm going to be mixing it with a little bit of the Wet n Wild Photo Focus. This is the dewy one, and I use the shade Golden Beige. I freaking love the packaging of this foundation. It's like a glass bottle. It's got this nice blue see-through cap on it. Why oh, is so watery? Is it supposed to be this watery? For medium coverage, use sparsely. For full coverage, use generously. For extreme coverage, apply multiple layers. It's so watery. I don't get that. Maybe, is mine broken? I don't know. Let's spray this a couple times. Maybe mine's broken. All right, we're just gonna try. We're gonna try. Let's see. So I mixed it. Surprisingly enough, I must be this light. Like, I didn't realize how light I am, but I didn't have to use very much of this, which just scares me a little bit. All right. I'm digging this. This is real nice. This is real nice. I'm really impressed with this foundation, and I'm actually impressed with the sponge. It's definitely got the like bounce to it. It's not too hard, but it's not too soft. It's like a perfect medium. So I'm gonna go ahead and just apply one full layer onto my face. Let this sit for a few minutes, not minutes, but let it sit for like a few moments, and then we'll move into a second layer because I think we're definitely gonna apply two layers. But I'm just gonna kind of speed through this really quickly. I'm gonna pull my hair back. It's getting stuck. Okay, so there is two full layers. I'm really impressed by the way this looks. Do you see that? Like it covers everything up. And actually the more I look at it, the more I'm thinking this might not be too far off for color match on me because I feel like once bronzer and everything sets in and if it oxidizes, I think it'll be spot on. So I feel like it's almost perfect for me. Today I'm just gonna be taking the 16 hour camo concealer by e.l.f. And I'm gonna apply that right on the inner corners because I do have some darkness in there. I like to put some on the tip of my nose, down the bridge, and I have a lot of, the foundation is like really clinging to my dry spots, so I'm not really going to put anything else. I'm just going to leave it like that. Um, and then what I've been doing is just kind of letting it sit for, you know, about 10, 15 seconds before I blend it out. And I'm going to set everything using the Velvetizer. This is the one that I had picked up a while ago. I've had it in my bag for some time to use. Still hadn't used it, so today's going to be the day I'm going to get my hands and finally try it out. Alright, so I'm applying the powder, but I don't know if you could tell, but I feel like it's making it dark underneath my eyes, and I don't like that. Like, I'm not really getting any brightness. It's almost like dark here light here do you see that like it's really weird it's got some like weird discoloration to it um i'm gonna try a different powder on really quickly because i no, mm -mm. i don't know what is going on it's like all weird <sighs> good grief so terrible right now it is like breaking up really bad right here can you see that like it's discolored right in this area <sighs> 
I don't know. We're going to keep moving on. I'm going to go ahead and bronze up my skin really quickly, apply some powder. I'm just going to be using my project pan, all the items for my project pan for the rest of my face because I don't have anything face-wise that I need to work on. Um, but once I get done doing that, we'll come back and we'll work on the eyes together. Okay, so I went ahead and I just finished off with the e.l.f. Halo setting powder. I've talked about this product here numerous times. I've talked about it in like tutorials and then favorite videos. That is hands down like one of my favorite powders. I feel like it just airbrushes everything. You guys can see and it just makes everything look really meshed. And then for highlight, I decided to go in with the Champagne Campaign by Catrice. I don't know if they still own this. I know there's another one that I had that was kind of difficult for me to find online. Um, but like I said, I will link everything I have down below. But this is a really great highlighter. I find this to be such a great alternative to like the Dandelion Twinkle by Benefit, which is another one of like my favorite, favorite highlighters this year. Um, but you see how it just gives like a nice soft glow. So I want to use these for the lid. Um, these are the NARS Power Chrome Loose Eye Pigments. So I have a set of six. Let me go ahead and open them up so we can take a look at them and see which ones we want to use today. So the first one I have here is called Naked City. This one here is called Shockum. This one is Stricken, Slam. This one's Riding High, which is this like deep forest green, Hammered which is like this deep red shade. I feel like the blue one was much softer, whereas this one here, which is that bright gold one, or like this white opal one, shotgun here, very chunky, you can see. Just to see with the formula, yeah. This one's really choppy. This blue one definitely could go on on its own. I feel like the green is a lot lighter in consistency, but this red one, so there you have it, just swiped. We're just going to use a palette. Today's palette I'm going to be using is the um, Gay Bestie palette by JC Camarillo. So what I'm going to do is start off with Hot Tea, which is just this deep chocolate brown. And I'm going to map out um, how I want my eye shape to look. It's going to look a little sloppy, but I kind of want to just map it out. Honestly, I'm trying this technique out because I've seen other people do this and I've seen it come out awesome. So I want to see if this is just a little bit easier than my normal technique. Alright, so now that we have that, you can see it's kind of patchy. We're going to go in with uh, Girl, which is just this uh, lighter tone brown. And I'm going to start kind of blending everything out. Okay, now I'm going to take White Lies, which is this more lighter tone shade. Kind of like a brow bone shade. And I'm just going to be dusting this along the edges of the top of the brown, of the brow bone. And this is just going to help kind of fade everything out. That was kind of an easier way to do this. I was actually kind of impressed by how easy this was. So let's go ahead and play around with a couple of these colors. So the first color I'm going to actually take is this right here called a Stricken. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I am going to be using my fingers just because I am finding that these are working much better with your fingers than anything else. So we're just going to pop that on just like that. Oh, that's gorgeous. And then I'm going to take this lightest shade. And we're going to pop that right on this inner corner. I want to see how this lightest shade works. Because I feel like a lot of people would really love this. But I want to see how chunky it is. Oh my gosh. Let's try Slam and see how that works. So this is what Slam looks like. That right on top. Oh, that's prettier. I don't like the chunkiness to that other one. Like, especially if you have any sort of fine lines when you blink, I feel like it'll accentuate it way more or it'll, like, flake off. I'm going to go ahead and do this eye really quickly, pop on some lashes, and finish up on the lower lash line. And then let me do this eye really quick. And then for lipstick, I'm actually going to go in with one of the Wet n Wild lipsticks. This is in the shade Mocha Licious. It's in their new packaging. Look at this packaging. It's like this wet and wild. It's got a little kiss on it. Um, and they have two different types. So they have this one, which is white. And this is more of like your satin finish or like more of a sheer finish. And then the black packaging is their matte packaging. So I'm going to pop this on. To finish off on top, I'm going to put on the City Lips Plumping Lip Gloss. 
So there we have it. We are completely finished with today's eye look. The foundation so far is sitting really well. I don't know. It says that it's a soft matte hydrating foundation. I just had to reset my face really quickly because I, de I did definitely feel like it was getting a little bit too dewy for me of so I didn't read that part so I think that's more on my end because I did mix it with another very dewy foundation so I'm going to try this again I do like the way that it covers though even though it's a lot lighter of consistency I definitely feel like it definitely covered my skin and like all my imperfections so I'm going to try it again but I think I'm going to try it with like a different foundation maybe more of a matte foundation the eye pigments that I tried out from NARS. I would definitely say that I love them. The only noticeable difference with them is that they're definitely off in consistency. Like some of them are a lot softer to play with, some of them are chunkier and that sort of thing. Even though this was a little bit darker than what I expected called Slam, this one here I was very impressed by just how bright it was in general. So this one did not seem to work out very well underneath my eye. I will try it again because I don't know if it was the sponge that was kind of taking away some of the product or if it was the product itself. So there you have it. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you guys haven't seen any of my latest videos, I'll link up down here and in this area. This is the same look that I am using from my BoxyCharm video. So if you guys haven't checked out the BoxyCharm and the Ipsy unboxing for the premium, see which box is better. I'll have it linked here as well as some other videos. Thank you again for watching and I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye.